Hey guys, it's Blue Bear. Um, I don't really know anything else to say. Because <laughs> that's all I have. Dance of Gods. Hello and welcome everyone to another MMO Anthropology video. I'm here with Blue Bear on World of Warcraft in Booty Bay where it's raining. Say so, say hello. It's beautiful. Yes, it's awesome. Hello. So I my first question generally to everyone who comes along is why why World of Warcraft? I started World of Warcraft purely because my friends did. I'm a follower. <laughs> <laughs> how how long have you been playing uh, World of Warcraft? Um, I think I started in Lich King, I think, which was the second expansion. Mm -hmm. so, I don't know how many years ago that was. <laughs> a, a reasonable number at this point. Yeah, a few years. So I, I noticed that you're playing a hunter, and you've got uh, an interesting pet out. Is there any story about uh, capturing that particular one, or uh, do you have any pets with Not stories? this one. Mm, pets with stories. I suppose I have a fun story about this one. That's a spider <laughs> and it's on actually, fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this one's actually a rare from, um, where is it? The Firelands, I believe. In Mount Heidel, if you know where that is. And yes. um, it's hard to tame. Very hard. Why is that? You can't let it touch you. Oh, because it'll incinerate you? <laughs> yes, pretty much. So one did, hit and you die. Did you, uh, did you go out of your way to hunt this one down and try to, say, try to get it? Or did you have to get help? Or? No! I was actually just uh, doing quests there and I stumbled across it. And I wondered how to solo it to tame it because I knew there were about it's, there's about six tameable spiders in that place, and they're all really hard. Mm. So I came across it and just had to quickly learn how to do it <laughs> before someone else grabbed it. Well, you did end up with it in the end, at least. Yeah, I was just walking past, and my um, rare scanner went off at me, telling me there was a rare nearby. <laughs> Uh, so do you play, play <laughs> do you play any other MMOs on a regular basis or is it just primarily World of Warcraft? No, I play all sorts really. I play Guild Wars 2, I suppose if you can count that one. Mm -hmm. And um, well, uh, nothing really as much as those two. What goes into making you choose a particular MMO game to play? The company mainly. <laughs> Your friends. I must admit, it's, yes. <laughs> I've never really chosen a game purely because I wanted to. <laughs> so it just seems weird. Yeah. Well, before the interview, you said you're, or during, you said you were a follower. You came because your friends I were am. here. <laughs> I am. Uh, I is, can't help myself. Is it also the, uh, your friend's guild that you have the tag for? Uh, persistence. <laughs> no, this is my guild. Uh, you have a guild. I, I have a guild. I'm the guild master of this one. Uh, so um, how many people are in it? <laughs> the, this is my private guild, so there's only eight in it. Ah. But I used to own another one on this server called Shining Knights, which had almost a thousand people in. But I sold it, so. You sold a guild? Yeah. Well, I did. That's interesting. What's that like? Um, that was a level 25 guild, mm -hmm. and having all those people is a bit much. So, I, because I like to please people, but everyone always wanted me to do something for them or with them, and I just couldn't do it. Well, and at <laughs> so a thousand people. For, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was always at least 20 people online, so. Uh, it's kind of hard to please everyone. I ended up selling it to a random person in trade chat for about 15k, which was really underpriced. <laughs> wow. So, did you end up buying anything with the gold that you got from that? Um. Or are you just I you know, wow rich? 
Ah, okay. <laughs> um, so, w w in World of Warcraft, I, I noticed that you do have something of a plethora uh, of pets, and you do do videos on how to go <laughs> back to old content and basically just you rip through it in order to get the interesting rare stuff <laughs> from it. Do you do yeah. you have you gotten into collecting rare pets and interesting stuff, or or is yes. that just sort of a, a I side? Collect mount. Mm. <laughs> I collect my mounts, and I also have a um, a small pet collection, the companion pets as well, mm -hmm. and as well as hunter pets. I collect all three of those. <laughs> so how how the far are you? Impresses, they're probably mount. Yeah. Well, how far are you into collecting all that are currently available? So or is the it mounts? Mm -hmm. That's or all, the mounts or the pets? All of the above. Let's start with the mounts. The mounts is probably the closest to completion, but I don't really don't <laughs> I don't really want to finish it mm -hmm. <laughs> because then I'd be awfully sad because <laughs> then I'd have nothing left to do. But I have almost all the solvable mounts and there's only a few more achievement ones I have left to get. Mm -hmm. How about <laughs> and it? the pets I have for the hunter pets, the rare ones, I have pretty much all the ones that I want. Just there are a few more of the spider ones from the firelands that I'll probably be done. <laughs> Neat. And the companion pets I have not as quite as impressive, but I just need a few more rare ones from some raids and and a few achievements, and I should be good. So does that does that largely guide your gameplay, or why do you generally log on to World <laughs> of Warcraft and, and run around? Is it is it to go with your friends, or are you coming on trying to grind and, and capture that you know one last <laughs> rare interesting thing? Well. That's a funny question because most of my YouTube videos are solo guides. Yes. And yet I mainly log on to talk to my friends. Mm -hmm. I don't play with them that much, but I run around and solo stuff because I don't know why. I feel like if I'm with someone else, I have to do what they want and I have to please them. Yes. So I tend to just solo things. But I mainly log on just to talk to friends. I can tell. No I tell me. Yeah, I, I can totally understand that. In fact, one of the previous people that I interviewed, Magic Man, had pointed out that World of Warcraft has basically become kind of the Facebook of MMOs. Uh, everyone <laughs> keep, everyone who that. tries to get away keeps going back because it's where all our friends are if we want to talk to them. Yes. <laughs> I actually took a break for about two to three months and I just couldn't stay away. <laughs> the, I missed all my friends. Ooh, Wolfie. So I have a lot of trinkets as well. I collect them. <laughs> you also collect trinkets? I do. Sort of, you know, the sort of trinkets that turn you into something or change your appearance. Yeah. Mm. Little novelty items. <laughs> so, uh, how... Uh, I think we've already answered this one, but I'm, I'm looking for your opinion on it. How do you use... Uh, online games like MMOs differently than uh, other forms of entertainment like TV and etc. Hmm. I'm not really a fan of TV. <laughs> Movies. I don't like sitting books. there and stuff. I, I never liked reading. <laughs> <laughs> I've hated it. I've always hated reading. <laughs> Movies. I can watch them now and then, but I can only ever watch a movie once. <laughs> mm -hmm. But this just keeps me occupied, and it's always something different. The movies and the books tend to be the same thing over and over again. Right, in. And I get, yeah, so, so you always a different story when I log on. Right, because because you come here to talk to your friends, so I expect in yeah. a, in a sort of way, way, do you do you come here to to hang out in a city and just socialize with your friends? Or do you tend to go out and like uh, beat up content while while you're chatting with people? Oh. I <laughs> I tend to mainly talk to them in the chat and do my own thing. That's usually how I end up going about things. But if someone wants me to go along with them, I I go. Mhm. Mm 
That has got yeah, I don't really. yeah. to be the goofiest <laughs> dance that I have ever seen on a Warcraft character. <laughs> so I I've, like my <laughs> I've got a little bit of time left for this interview, and so the final question is, do you have a favorite or most memorable experience for World of Warcraft? Oh, that's a hard one. <clears throat> most recent or all over mm -hmm. through uh, my entire World of Warcraft life? Um, whatever comes to mind. I'll take any story about a really memorable event. <laughs> my most memorable one would probably be the completion of my outfit. <laughs> mm -hmm. The one that you're wearing right now? Yes, this one. Because it was very hard to get my last piece, and I ended up just stumbling across it in the auction. <laughs> so t As tell I me, hunted down the boots. Tell me a little bit about the outfit. I, I noticed that it's all red and gold, and it matches your bow. <laughs> it, it's very beautiful. Um, <laughs> well, I wanted to stand out, and I realized everyone else's colors are always dark and mm -hmm. dull and very, in my opinion, boring. I like. <laughs> bright colors and to stand out <laughs> it, and i think i accomplished that <laughs> oh you absolutely did that totally stands out it and i must I say it get a lot of whispers. Yeah. <laughs> it totally fits People the night elf dance too so so what are um, the pieces uh that make up the outfit oh god i don't even remember half of them i remember the boots were um the hardest for me to get because most of the pieces drop off as rares, mm -hmm. and and they were just hard to get. But the boots were blood, uh, blood something. <laughs> I'd have to look up for it again. But that was my final piece, and they just wouldn't drop for me. So I ended up looking in the auction house just randomly, and there was one pair. <laughs> did it? And I up. bought that for eight hundred gold. Oh, okay, so it, it sort of did <laughs> end up being a little bit expensive. Oh, but. I didn't care. I had enough. Well, <laughs> completing an outfit. I mean, there's... Exactly. It was fabulous. <laughs> so, before we run I off... Look at me. It, uh, yes. I have been, actually. it's. <laughs> before we run off, I have one final thing that I want, want to know. And that's... Uh, so, why, why did you choose Booty Bay for the interview? Nice horse. Why, <laughs> thank you. Um... I chose Booty Bay purely because I like the background. If you look behind me, I can see what you're looking at. You see the waterfalls and stuff? Yep. I'm a <laughs> I've always been very artistic, and when I see a good sight, I'm like, I like that. <laughs> it, it is, it is so extremely scenic. Yes! It's like you go and see something, and it makes you go, that's pretty good, that's pretty beautiful. I'd like a picture of that on my wall. <laughs> that's why I chose it. Brilliant. Well, that's all the time that I've got for an interview today. I'd like to thank my guest, Blue Bear, for coming along. And everyone should visit her YouTube channel and take a look at the World Warcraft content that she does and everything else. Um, that's that's it for tonight. Thanks, everyone, for, not, for watching. This has been an MMO Anthropology. Good night and good dreams. Do you play online games? Do you have Skype? Then we'd love to interview you on Massive Online Anthropology. Join the fascinating thousands who've spoken about their online gaming experience and be the envy of all your friends. Or at least get the MMO Anthropology Geek Merit Badge. Sorry, no t-shirt. See you then!